Okay, so Brian, now that they've got the Raspberry Three, now they've they've got a microphone, they've got some way to speaker. Yeah, uh, put out the audio. Mm -hmm. What do they actually have to do in order to make this thing work? Okay, so the next few steps aren't too difficult, but you do have to have an Amazon account and set up a developer account, which isn't too difficult. But uh, let's watch the video to find out. This is Brian Burnett, host of Know How, and last August I built a Amazon Alexa out of a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it worked fine, and but it was push button, and since then a new model of the Raspberry Pi has been released, the Model 3, making things much snappier. So I decided to revisit this project now that you can have voice activation and there's a faster Pi out. So you're not going to need a lot to start this project, but first you're Going to need a Raspberry Pi Model 3 or 2, I'm using the 3, a USB mic, an 8 gigabyte or larger micro SD card, a micro USB cable and power adapter, and a speaker. Of course, you'll need a keyboard and mouse as well to be able to interface with the Pi. Uh, first things first, download the Raspberry and Jesse OS and get that loaded onto the SD card. And then you're going to need to sign up for an Amazon developer account. It's free, and once you've done that, you'll navigate to the Alexa tab and then the of voice services. Next, you'd want to register product, uh, product type, and then device, but considering I've already gone through this, doing this project, I'll just walk you through the device I've already made. Now you want to name it, and this is important, my underscore device, and make sure to use that for um, you know your description and things like that. So under your security profile description, it will say my underscore device, then there's the security profile ID, client ID, and client secret. Those are some numbers you're going to want to keep track of. Next, go over to the web settings tab and type in HTTPS colon slash slash localhost colon 3000 and then allowed return URLs HTTPS colon slash slash localhost colon 3000 auth response. Now this is the port that the Pi will be looking for to authenticate with the Alexa software on Amazon side. And now that you have your device set up on the Amazon developer side, Plug in your SD card into your Pi and boot up into Raspbian for the first time. Now that you are in the OS, you're going to want to open up a terminal. And in that terminal, you'll type CD desktop. Next, you'll type in git clone HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash github dot com slash Alexa slash Alexa dash AVS dash sample dash app dot get. And if you're having trouble remembering that, uh, just check our show notes and there'll be a link there with uh, instructions. You can right click on the f new folder on your desktop, uh, Alexa AVS sample app and open it in a new terminal. And in the terminal type nano automated underscore install dot sh. And this opens up the file where you will be plugging in the information that you got from your Amazon developer page. And then open the desktop Alexa AVS sample app in terminal. You can do this by right clicking on the folder and selecting open in terminal and type dot automated underscore install dot sh and hit enter. This will have you go through a quick questionnaire. Once completed, open up the Alexa AVS sample app slash samples folder in terminal and type in CD companion service appersand appersand npm start. Next, open a new terminal window from Alexa AVS sample app slash samples and type in CD Java client appersand appersand MVM EXEC colon EXEC. And what this does is launches a pop up that will direct you to the Amazon developer account. So here's the pop up. Click yes. It will open up a web page in your browser. When the page pops up, you'll want to click advanced and proceed to localhost. Even though it says it's unsafe, it's fine. It'll direct you to your Amazon account. And this is basically asking your permission to assign your device and click continue. And you should see device tokens are ready. Then if you flip back to the pop up and click OK, now your Raspberry Pi is connected to your Amazon services. And in this terminal, we will be setting up our wake word by typing CD wake word agent slash SRC appersand appersand forward slash wake word agent dash e kit k-i-t-t -T underscore a-i 
and this will activate the wake word setting for our raspberry play me my flash briefing here's your flash briefing from this week in tech I'm Jason Howell. And I'm Megan Maroney from Tech News Today. Pinterest launched a new beta feature of its app called Lens. Tell me about the weather. In Santa Rosa, there's a flood warning in effect until Friday. I know some of you out there might be thinking it's easier just to buy a dot, and that would be the same. But if you have a Raspberry Pi laying around and a, a, a speaker, uh, this is a fun project to do just to be able to play around with some of the, the background services uh, that the Alexa is capable of. And as always, now that you know how, go build it. Oh, I saw what you did go there. Go build it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, what I love about this is the natural progression. Because the first time we saw one of these devices, the, the guy who actually started making these mm -hmm. was at Maker Faire San Mateo. And right. we actually had to sit down with him and he explained how we did it. It was not the most intuitive process. No. Uh, there it were wasn't. a couple of like forwards and backs. But now that, that we've had it out there, you, there's actually scripts that you can just run the script. It's just like when we did the tour project. Mm -hmm. You you if you don't care about any of the customization, you can actually just run a single script and then put in your token mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Yeah, no, it's come a long way and I think uh, it's also nice of Amazon to kind of release a lot of this information right. on GitHub and stuff. Uh, obviously, it's advantageous for them to do that because mm -hmm. the more people that play with their software and kind of hack it will eventually help them develop better, you know, back-end stuff for their, their system. But I just, this project was kind of fun to do just to be able to play with it and do some of the different uh, hook-ins that the has, which, you know, between the Google Home and the uh, like Google is great at answering questions. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> no, it's only if you say "Oh, Google." Now I'm gonna have to bleep that. But if you, I say "Google Home," it should be fine. But you did refer to the Amazon Voice Assistant by name several times. Did I? Yes. Just when we came back. Yes, when we came back. <laughs> <laughs>